everybody's been telling me my videos remind them of popcorn sutton videos imagine that i don't know why anyone would think that but that's what they say <laughs> This video is about acid lead battery restorations. I've got videos up of this before. Uh, I'm getting ready to do another one by your request or demands. Uh, so first I'm going to show you a battery that I saved two years ago. A little over two years, a little less than two years. It's been through one winter and cranked and survived. I'm going to show that to you right now. Here is the battery in question. You remember the red caps? I'm just showing you what it looks like now so you'll remember. And I'm going to show you it's in this uh, ATV machine here. I'm going to turn on the key. You see the lights work when I hit the starter. Hear that? That's all that battery will do. It's got a little bit of charge in it because I've been charging it for overnight, and that's what it's got. Hold on. All right, here's you a better look at the battery in question. Ever start deader than four o'clock. First thing we got to do is get those caps off and pour that old acid out. So let's do that now. Now you always want to wear goggles if you do this. Wear eye protection, and you should wear long sleeve clothes and pants. But you guys know me, I'm the risky some bitch that just does what I have to do to get by. I've got to get a pair of gloves. I do want to wear gloves for this before I pick that battery up. So, hold on for that. This video, by the way, is going to take several days to complete. I'm going to dump that dead solution out very carefully if we can. It's okay to shake it around a little bit. Doesn't look like very much in there, does it? It said it was indicated it was full. If you go by the indicators on top, Said it was full, and that's rather clean too. Usually that's really dirty right there. And if it is in your battery, then you want to do this as many times as it takes to get it clean. I'll give you a closer up shot here. See that's that's uh, really not that dirty. Usually that is just black with filth. Now I'm going to show you the ingredients to mix up with 10 ounces of baking soda and hot water. And we're going to rinse that battery out and bubble it out, deep sulfate it until what we pour out of it like that is completely clear. The clearer we can get it to be, the better. I said that's got some dirt in it. Hopefully you're able to see that without all the reflections and shit. It's in the bottom of it, but it's in there. And I'm going to show you how to rejuvenate your battery. I always take that stuff to the landfill, put it in a jug, take it to the landfill, let them dispose of it. Do not pour it back into Mother Earth. We love Mother Earth too much for that. Don't do it. That'll calibrate to zero ounces. And we want 10 ounces of baking soda. Okay? So I'm just going to shovel out a bunch of scoops. Try to keep that as level and flat as I can. It's very important that you get as close to 10 ounces as you can possibly get it. We're going to pour this 10 ounces into one gallon of very hot water. There we go. 10 ounces of baking soda. Now what we're going to do is pour that probably everywhere <laughs> into this hot water. It don't have to be boiling hot water, but you know, the hotter it is, the better this is going to work. I'll go ahead and shut that scale off. If your uh, water is hot, like I say, it just helps dissolve the 
the baking soda better. I don't know if you can see it, it's going in there, but slow. So I'm going to put all 10 ounces of this in here, shake it up really good. I'll bring you back and show you what's going to happen next. All of that baking soda went right to the bottom of the jug. That's why you want to have hot water. And uh, got all 10 ounces of it in there. You can see how cloudy the water is now. It's not clear anymore. We're going to fill each cell of that battery up with this. And it's going to boil like crazy, man. Definitely want to wear safety gargles for this when you do this. And do it at your own risk. It's, uh, there are some dangers involved. So just be careful. So let's take it outside, pour it into the battery, and watch that battery bubble. I like to say, you do want to wear eye protection for this. See that pressure built up in there? This stuff is ready to go, man. I don't know how I'm going to get it in that little battery. Uh, holes. If this works, it'd be awful nice. I don't think it's going to. I'm going to get it something to suck water. Check that out, folks. Bubbling City. I poured it out once. Bubbling City. You know, it doesn't hurt to be kind of rough with the battery. Shake it around good. You would even put the caps back in it. If this uh, would have been really dirty the first time, I'd put the caps back in it and roll it around on the ground. Really make it uh, get active. Because it was so dirty, I did decide to put the caps on it and roll it around a little bit. You can hear it bubbling. Let's say See it coming out of the overflow. Don't worry about being too rough with the battery. You know, jolt it around good. Break those crystals loose from the plates and get them out of there. All right, well, this is the second, second time now. The first time I didn't put the plates back in it, the caps I mean, I just let it boil, shook it around on the ground a little bit. If this is very dirty now we have to do this a third time. Here we go. Yeah, we're going to have to do it again. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, I think you can see it. Definitely got to do it again. So I'm going to mix up this shit and be back. Well, I won't lie to you. I've been up here the biggest part of the afternoon. I'm mixing up another batch of baking soda and very hot water. I need to wash that battery out again. It's a lot dirtier. That's weird. When I first poured the first acid out of the battery, you saw, I think I showed that. It wasn't that dirty, really. But both boilings with this baking soda, both times, it was getting worse, actually, instead of better, I think. But that's what it does. That's why we're even doing this. I've did a lot of batteries this way, and it's never failed. I've rejuvenated. Well, no, there was one one time that had two bad cells in it. This same solution, by the way, works. 10 ounces of baking soda per gallon of water. 
Once we get the battery clean, and we'll use 12 ounces of Epsom salt with, with one gallon of water, and then trickle charge for 48 hours or so. And like I say, this mixture works, doesn't matter if it's a big car battery or a small uh, ATV battery in this case, it works. Same solution, fits all. <laughs> Now, maybe I can show you what I was talking about a little bit ago, the stuff accumulating in the bottom. Yeah, see that? You don't want that. Make sure the lid's tight, because it does build up. Watch that disappear. It does build up uh, some pressure sometimes. A little bit right there is all that's left. Look down in those cells. See that stuff boiling? That's cleaning those cells out. I'm gonna put the caps on it, shake it up again, just like before. Well, I'm gonna rough it up good this time. I'll bring you back when I get ready to mix the. Uh, look at that. I probably didn't leave that long enough. I should have left it longer before. It's time to hurry, make the video. I'm gonna let it work off this time. Now I'll bring you back when I get ready to mix the uh, Epsom salt formulation. Welcome friends to day two. I have uh, mixed up baking soda, 10 ounces to one gallon of water, that solution I told you about, I did that. Poured it into the battery, let it boil, jumped the battery around, I jarred it around, dropped it, rolled it eight times. I just kept getting filth out of the battery, so I just I'd let it go. In fact, I pour, poured that in there last night and let it boil all night long. Poured it out today, got a, a good amount of filth out of the battery. And uh, it's in there right now, it's boiling as we speak. This is day two, as I said. And it's boiling right now. I'm going to show you uh, the number eight boil out. And uh, it should be pretty clean this time compared to you saw what it looked like before. And if it's clean this time, which I think it will be, we're going to mix up the, the uh, lifeblood for the battery, the Epsom salt. And remember, that's. 12 ounces of Epsom salt to one gallon of water. And uh, that's going to be the, uh, the acid once it charges up and makes acid. So stay tuned for that. Right now, let's go check it. Let's go check it and see if we've got uh, all the dirt, all the filth out of the cells. Hold on. All right, folks, here we go. This is the eighth time that I boiled this battery out. This makes eight times, bubbled it out, and we're gonna find out now how dirty it is after eight times. Now there's a little bit of slop in there already, but here we go. Well, I didn't move that thing out of the screen. Now you can see that's way cleaner than it's been. In fact, it's clear now. It was really black, filthy, dirty. Just about every time that I did this. As you can see there now, what it looks like. That battery don't hold very much. There's how much we got. It's clear, actually. Well, I see a little bit in there yet. But compared to every other time, it's clear. That's the best it's been so far. Uh, like I said, you want 12 ounces of Epsom salt to one gallon of water. Now, I've only got a half a gallon of water over there, so I'm going to go with that. I'm going to mix six ounces of this instead of 12. Six ounces. There's 4.8. Five. Very close, six ounces, exactly, 6.01, but that's not going to matter. Uh, normally you would mix 12 ounces of Epsom salt with distilled water. Now you can't use tap water here, you can use tap water when you're doing the, uh, uh, you know, the baking soda solution. When you're doing that and you're flushing your batter out, boy, if you can use any kind of water, tap water, river water, whatever. I, I would recommend distilled water for that too, but you can use whatever. But for this, you have got to use uh, distilled water. 
nothing else. Here is our distilled water. Here's our Epsom salt, six ounces. Very important that you get the mixture right on this. I mean, uh, you want you want to mix this 12 ounces of Epsom salt to one gallon of distilled water. That's very important that you do that. Because I have a half a gallon, I'm only mixing uh, six ounces to it. I need a screwdriver. There we go. And let's do it. Let's do it. Don't be surprised if you hear a bunch of vehicles and people outside and noise. <laughs> it will be a very busy day in the neighborhood today. I put this uh, whole gallon in a microwave, or half gallon, heated it. It helps very much if your water is hot. You don't have to boil it or anything like that, but if it's hot, it helps dissolve this Epsom salt in here better. I'm going to mix this up, and we're going to pour it into the battery. I probably won't show you that because i got to use a little old suction thing. I've got it here somewhere. And I've got to suck it up into that thing and pour it down. I might show you a little bit of it, but it's going to be a very long, slow process. Pour this in your battery and then put it on a low trickle charge. I've got a one amp charger. And uh, you've got to use a dumb charger. A smart charger will think the battery starts up and it'll kick off. So you've got to use a dumb charger and trickle charge it. Force it down its throat. <laughs> and this will turn into, miraculously, this will turn into acid. It won't freeze in the winter time. I've had people say, well, you put water in your battery, it's going to freeze in the winter. Well, I'll show you my truck battery. It's made it through one winter and it cranked oh, nearly every day and night. Used that quite a bit and it's still good. This will not freeze when you pour it in your battery and you charge it, that turns into acid. You do not want to get that on your skin or your clothes even. It'll eat your clothes up. Eat your skin up, it'll eat you up. So uh, let's put it in the battery. I'm surprised at what little bit it does hold actually. But uh, you can see it's going to take me a very long time to do this because this thing's not sucking for shit. But this is what we're doing now. We've got to get this solution in the battery. I want to show you that. So I'll bring you back when I got it in there. <laughs> Hold on. And there's the charger I'm using. Hopefully you can see that. Six volt and 12 volt, one amp. Got it on 12 volts. And uh, it's hooked up. And there she is. Now that, that'll start the bubble down in those cells. It's not going to for a while yet. But you should see every cell bubbling. Well, let that charge. Watch your levels. Like I say, charge it 24 hours, come back and check it. And you're probably going to have to add more of that solution to it. The uh, Epsom salt and a uh, mixture that you make. And, and remember, 12 ounces of Epsom salt to one gallon of water or six ounces to a half a gallon like I did, and uh, 10 ounces of baking soda to a gallon of water. Doesn't matter how big or how small the battery is, doesn't matter if it's uh, six volt or 12 or 18 or 24, whatever it is, acid lead batteries, this works every time. And hopefully, it's going to work this time. I'll bring you back uh, tomorrow. Uh, we're going to put it in that ATV and fire it up, and I'll save myself uh, 80 bucks or whatever they cost. So I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. All right, folks, welcome back to day three. Uh, this is a big day. I've been letting that battery charge. We're going to take a look at it just in a minute. It's been charging 24 hours right now, and I think that's going to be enough for that little battery. A bigger battery or a deep cell battery, you'd want to charge 36 hours and even 48 hours on a trickle charge. Uh, we're going to look and see if all the cells, all six cells, are boiling, bubbling, and that's a good sign. It means every cell is taking charge. If so, and we're going to put it in here and try to get this thing to see if it'll crank this thing or not. That thing ain't been started for a while, but it always did start good. Uh, never had any trouble with it starting up, so it shouldn't be a problem there if the battery took the charge. And uh, I had very few of them to fail, but who knows? This one might fail. We're going to find out. Uh, 
I don't care to tell you, this has been a long three days making this video, so I hope it helps some of you guys. Uh, my other three battery videos, like I say, they get watched more and more views than my 10 most viewed guitar videos combined. It's amazing. Pretty soon those battery videos are going to be my top videos. So that's why I'm making this one. A lot of people are asking questions. I hope this one helped uh, in some way. Um, we bu I bubbled that battery out. This battery I'm doing not once, not three times, not six times or seven, but eight times. That's how many times it took to finally start getting clear uh, return on them. You know, we let the, let the uh, baking soda bubble and pour it out, it'd be dirty. And it took eight times. Well, six, the sixth time it started to look pretty clear. The seventh looked better, and the eighth was practically almost completely clear. So we should be good to go. Let's look at the battery and uh, check it out and get on with it. I uh, pulled the ATV out of that hole. And I'll show you why. I've got the battery in it already. There you can see it's the same battery. It was just uh, much easier to work on out here like this than it was back in that hole. See, I got better access to the to get in there to work on the battery. Uh, we'll go back around here and I'll show you this side of it. So you remember what it looked like before. There you can look at the battery again if I can find it in the camera. Wow, I can't find it. Yeah, there it is. Same battery with the red caps and all. So let's try this puppy now. Uh, this ATV hasn't been started for, uh, wow, I don't even know when the last time I started. But like I said earlier in the video, it has always been very good at firing up. So uh, let's try it, see if our battery work is good or not. four years or so that I'll have to do this same process again. I've done it to battery. I think the most I ever did one was four times. If you get four years out of each time, I mean that's what, 16 years on one battery, you know? Think of the money that you can save doing that. That's all there is to it. Hold on, I'm going to let this run a few minutes and then we'll talk. So there you have it, folks. Uh, I'll probably say this 25 times already, but just remember, 10 ounces of baking soda to one gallon of water. 12 ounces of Epsom salt to one gallon of distilled water. And now it doesn't have to be distilled when you boil the battery out with the baking soda. It's better if it is, but you can use tap water or whatever for that. But definitely got to use distilled water to mix with your Epsom salt. And you can do like I did in halves. I had a half a gallon of distilled water, so I only mixed uh, six ounces of Epsom salt in that water because I had half a gallon instead of a whole gallon. Uh, same solution applies to big batteries as you see me do in other videos and some small batteries as such as the one as I did in this video. I want to thank you for watching. I hope this helps someone out. Uh, check out my guitar videos if you haven't. Oddly enough, it's weird man, my battery videos are getting way more air time, watch time and views than uh, uh, any of my other ones. Pretty soon, if you watch this channel, keep an eye on my battery videos and watch them. They're going to shoot through the roof, man. And at the rate they're going, they're going to pass my most viewed guitar videos up. <laughs> Weird. So here's you another battery video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. been telling me my videos remind them of popcorn sutton videos.